adoption on it. <laughs> For some children in foster care, the holiday season began with joy during National Adoption Day, the biggest adoption ceremony of the year. Children who were in the system who have now found their forever family. To see children who have gone through so much trauma be able to find their happy ending and they're able to find love and that joy with their new adoptive families, you're seeing just the birth of happiness and that's so special. However, for the many others who didn't get adopted or are still lingering in the foster care system, their struggle continues. On any given day, 3,000 children here in Central Florida have had some degree of child abuse in their life. 3,000. 3,000 kids that's on any big, given day. That's a big number. Yeah. What I think is surprising to some people is what that volume really looks like. Central Florida is a wonderful place. We're a good community. Unemployment is low, and there's a lot of opportunity. So when people hear of child abuse or neglect, some of us think of something that happens far away. But no, it's so prevalent, even in our own community. This is a child who might be sitting next to your child in class. They're in our communities, they're in our schools, they're part of our neighborhoods, and, and we owe it to them to respond when they need us. Some just need a helping hand while they wait for their parents to get back on their feet. But uh, we really need to intervene in order for that family to regain stability. And while they wait, their worlds are shaken to the core. These children have been through like so much. You never know if you're like safe or like Am I going to stay here? Is this consistent or like is or am I going to be moved to a different foster home tomorrow? Knowing that they'll always have someone to love them unconditionally, I think it's just very, very important. And that is why the people that care for them during this turbulent time in their lives, their foster parents need to provide the stability they desperately need, especially now that the number of children in care has reached an all time high. Is there anything that has changed from last year to this year. There's really an adjustment in uh, the foster care system to opioids. A lot of families that may have never had the other kind of risk factors that would spiral you into chaos, an opioid addiction really can do that to a family. There are around 350 foster families in Orange, Osceola, and Seminole County, three counties that cover a few million people. Um, so it is a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of people who are providing care for these kids. If anyone in the community has a heart for children and a space in your home, we really encourage you to consider opening your heart and home to a child in need. Because these children's futures may depend on it, may depend on you. If you're looking for a sign, I pray that this is the sign that you're looking for because we got a lot of great kids out there and they're talented and gifted and unique and they've all been through a lot and they deserve someone to love them unconditionally.